some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and Brad and I are doing a discussion over Lord of the Rings, the card game, specifically the revised edition that Fantasy Flight uh, came out with, uh, which basically really seems like the revised edition is just kind of their condensed version, kind of like what they're doing with Arkham Horror. And they're out of that campaign. And they're out of the campaign, campaign stuff, yeah, which yeah. We, we did a little bit of the campaign. Um, it had been years since I had uh, played this. Like, God, like, fucking seven, eight years yeah, since I had I everything played. for it at one point. Like, right. Boxes and boxes. So when this stuff came out, uh, I was like, oh, maybe I'll get into it because I love Marvel Champions and Arkham Horror uh, the card game, so I was like, okay, there's another deck construction one, or, you know, another card game by Fantasy Flight. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, but there's just something about this game that I am not digging, you know? Like, it, it just doesn't flow that well for me. And I think the major thing is, is like, in Marvel Champions and Arkham Horror, you're one character, mm -hmm. so everything that you have in your deck relates to that one character, right. and so the decks feel very thematic. And here, because you split your deck and your attachments and your events and stuff to multiple characters, you d I don't feel that unique. I felt the deck work. Mm -hmm. Like, that was cool. Um, and I don't think this game is bad by any means. I just don't think it's necessarily for me. Well, and you can build. I mean, there's there's a lot of really successful decks you can build with this that are monosphere, that are just okay. one color. Like, you, your three heroes can all be purple. They gotcha. They can all be blue. They can all be green. Like, there's... So, I mean, you can make it like sure. that and just yeah. go all one route. Right. Um, but they do kind of specialize a little in some ways. Mm -hmm. You know, the green, the lore is more card draw and stuff like that. The yeah. spirit is more like events and weird uh, canceling things yeah um and then your your purple is your resource resource and there's the red sword which is like your t attack and yeah battle so there's a reason you kind of go around that but you can go monosphere and still be right successful too. and i still think it's like well then your deck kind of has an overall theme of like what you were just saying it's like man i'm gonna draw a lot or i'm gonna have a lot of resources mm -hmm. but because you're still splitting between the three characters i, I just didn't feel as unique i felt like i was hobbits in this particular deck, I was Hobbits, and that was really cool, because it's like, oh man, Mary's a badass, because I have four Hobbits now. Uh, five, with Frodo jumping in. Um, but, yeah, it's just like, with the other two, they feel a little bit more, um, it's a, it, I'm more engrossed in what's mm -hmm. happening. Um, but Which, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? Well, I mean, and, and this, I prefer this game solo. I mean, yeah, because it's less convoluted when bad guys are coming out. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you just focus on your little area. You um, that is one difference because when you play Marvel Champions solo, I generally will run two heroes. Yeah. So this one, you just have your three right in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, Arkham, I'll run two. Um, Arkham's super fun with two <laughs> because again, you're more specialized and you right. can have your strengths and weaknesses. Um, Marvel Champions. Um, kind of the same thing. You kind of have strengths and weaknesses, but also, I will agree with you. I think that one deck, because mm -hmm. it's still multiple heroes, um, you, yeah, I didn't really feel like either of us aided each other in any way. Well, and we didn't. Are these... Now, to be fair, these decks we're playing with are the ones out of this Saga expansion that said to use, right? Right. When I build my decks a lot of times now when I'm because I have multiplayer builds when I was playing with other people mm -hmm. like Aragorn and a lot of those Gondor characters they have that that um, where you can go and take they have high hit points where I can go and blockade somebody from you or right. you can get the archers when you have the, a lot of the elf characters that you yeah. can attack and help that way so that's where a lot of your help comes from with that in a sure. multiplayer game you don't those don't mean shit in solo as much because yeah. You're only dealing with your own. So That's true. There are cards in there. These decks did not have any of it. Like I was looking for anything that had no had help, and there was nothing in these decks that had. That. But I also didn't fucking need it. I mean, you're the one that needed help. Well, <laughs> um, but but I mean, that, to be fair, like I mean, that's because I play with precons with Marvel Champions. That's how I review those characters. It's like, okay, how are they straight out of the box? Um, because I find it actually unfair to straight up review like a deck or a game mm -hmm. whenever it's like 
okay, so this character sucks, but if you have all these other cards, right. then you can make them really good. It's like, well, sure, but you could do that with Magic the Gathering. Hey, these cards are fucking trash, but if you spend millions of dollars, you mm -hmm. can make the game really good. Well, and the thing to also consider with it, this, this is the grandfather of Marvel Champions and Arkham. You, True. Can, you can tell, like we were talking when we were playing this, There's, you can tell the elements, the dark, yeah. the, the shadow cards coming out, that's mm -hmm. your... That's your boost cards or whatever that you get yeah. for, for Marvel, you know, and there's all these different aspects. Yeah, the, the keywords you right. see, like, oh, I like, oh, I see Peril, I see Surge, mm -hmm. I see those in those other games. That's why a lot of people stopped playing this when those other ones came out, because mm -hmm. those were more a little more thematic, a little more s speedy, Yeah, you know, and stuff like that. I, I guess I also can think, like, <clears throat> there's, there's a situation that runs in with IP games, which um, Lord of the Rings, it's like, okay, you're gonna do the campaign specifically, well, you're kind of going to go to the... I mean, this is a fellowship, so you're going to do what the fellowship book or movie did. Um, so you don't really have like a whole lot of exploration like you do right. have in like Arkham Horror. Well, yeah, and that's... The, just these saga expansions are like that. So like, there's, there's five or six uh, things just in the core box and stuff. They're going through Mirkwood yeah. and all that stuff, and those are stuff that's more... They're not the movies. That's true. The stuff, you know, yeah. and, and then these whole this whole row is a whole storyline. The Agmar or something. Oh yeah, then, one of the expansions. And then there's the Dream Chasers. Mm -hmm. I have all those. So like, they're and they're eventually coming out with all the packs. Just like it's going to take a long time. The first edition had. They're going to have all those that they'll come in and they'll put the yeah. heroes in a box and they deal and repackage them. Yeah, I think and, my other thing is like so the hand management of Marvel Champions. And, I mean, we're going to be comparing them because it's Fantasy Flight and they're mm -hmm. all three basically from the same skeleton. Oh, yeah. Uh, so this game, to me, feels... It's like it's pretty slow. And this is not... It would have been a negative um, initially, but it actually... The game feels very slow until it kind of isn't. Uh, you have a lot of, like, okay... Here's my hand of cards. It's ones and fours of resources, but all your heroes just get one resource mm -hmm. per round, unless you happen to get like a card that gives you more. But if you don't have those, then it's like okay, well, I get this four card. That's four rounds, and better hope that like my character that can specifically play that mm -hmm. has those resources. I don't know. Like, eventually it came to a point where, yeah, my characters just had the resources to play the cards. Right. But I don't know necessarily how I feel about it. It feels like you just kind of have a deck that isn't doing anything until you just wait it out. Right. And if you don't have card draw, like, I was not going through my deck much at all. Right. Um, which was always my one kind of complaint about this is because you did, drawing cards is... Is huge. Is huge. Yeah. And... Also and, very slow. It's right. one card around. And I prefer the Marvel Champions way of paying for cards, where you're paying, you you're taking cards out of your hand to draw, and then you draw back up your hand yes. size. That's drawing back up your hand size is always a guild. This card, this game doesn't have a hand size. Yeah, but I mean, like, there's I, your feel, I was only as good. And this again is kind of like what you said. This game is probably out of all three the best to go for if you love deck construction mm -hmm. like kind of what you were saying not only for the scenarios that it's like okay we went through the first stage now we're going to the second well this deck is trash in the second one so you right. have to just completely deck construct i personally don't love deck construction like that um i prefer it in um arkham the way it's like hey here's your here's your mm -hmm. deck and then so you have restrictions right. on what you can add mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know, which one do you prefer? Because Marvel Champions is also kind of like your standard pre-con, like Magic the Gathering, and then you can just kind of make it. But still with restrictions. This, What are the restrictions for deck building here? Just Your spheres. You want to put stuff in there. You don't even have to put the stuff in there. Because like, there's certain card. If you put a card that gives somebody access to that sphere, yeah. you can put those kind of cards in there too. You just, they're dead unless you get that card. Right. 50-card um, deck. I mean, that's, yeah. that's really... You can't go more than three copies of... Of a card. Of a card. Um, I mean, it's, it's so it's very cool. open ended because Arkham yeah. is like your character can have the blue mm -hmm. and some green or whatever. Uh, Marvel Champions, it's like this is their aspect. Well, yeah. I guess you pick an aspect. Um, yeah, Mar Marvel Champions is I, I, I like building that because mm -hmm. just because there's so many different deals. Like I and you can pick the aspect that they 
Dude. that they run. So like each 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 hero in that game, you could play four different ways, or five different ways, however many aspects there are at this point. You know, uh, I, Deadpool has his own. Well, Deadpool, right? But I mean, as but far as I like, think it's four. I think it's four too. I think it's green, red, blue, yellow, or green. There's green. So blue, blue, yellow, green, red. There's five. Green and what was the other one? Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, blue, <laughs> purple, red, green, yellow. No, <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. I think there's four or five. Yeah, well, whatever. That, that way, like, I could play Iron Man four different ways. Yes, I mean that's that's what I'm saying. Like, this, so the deck building is easier with that game. It is because most of your deck is like, like two thirds of your deck thin. is already is already assigned to that character. Yes. So when you deck build, you pick a small number of cards from that a aspect you want to do. Exactly. And that's it. And here doesn't have that at all, right. which can, if you're very bad at deck construction, you're going to have a bad time because if you have too much of one color and you're not, and then mm -hmm. too little of another, then one character is just amassing resources. Yeah. And if you have no way to draw cards, then it's like, Okay, I mean, you were running into that with that pre-con, where it's like, the only way you were drawing cards is <laughs> through an ally that I got to pick someone. Yeah, I, I I go two is mine. So is that, so you, can you just have one character? No, you always have to have three characters, okay. but you can make them all the same color. I see, okay, so whenever you were deck. saying I run two, I kept thinking you were meant two oh, heroes. Oh, no, 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 you, well, I mean, you could. Okay. That would be dumb because you, <laughs> you wouldn't have as many deals. But I'm talking the spheres. I gotcha. Of influence. So so I, I, I'll run, a lot of times I'll run uh, two purple and a blue. Okay. Generally, with the deck I used to run. I, with this new stuff, I haven't done it as much sure. to know if that's still good with stuff. But I always, this girl I always had because she's a questing beast. Yeah. Um, and then I always did the, the purple Aragorn, and yeah. then I'd fill it in. Which, again, else. kind of bumps me out, because it makes me feel... And I haven't played... A sh and like I Out of all three of these games, Marvel Champions, Arkham Horror, and this one, this is the one I've played the least. Um, it feels like, oh, well, then there's the meta, versus, like, hey, like your character in Arkham is still going to be really good, mm -hmm. or is going to be good or useful in some way. Yeah. Uh, which, which, her drawback is she has one attack. Yeah, and there's a lot. That I, in my experience, is like the de times I couldn't use her, because there's sometimes where questing means shit. You have to kill right. like in the in the Merc the very first the core set one. Mm -hmm. There's one of this, these three huge the rock trolls. Yeah, that are out there, and she doesn't do anything. You can't, <laughs> you can't move on until you kill the rock and trolls. Kill, oh, so you run. So I would take her out, and I would add somebody else. Yeah, again. so that's that's where that ebb and flow comes from. Yes. with your deck. Um, yeah, kind of what you're saying with deck <laughs> construction, which right. is like. I don't know. I like the idea of taking a deck that I made and throwing it in a situation and trying to figure out the puzzle aspect, not, not just having it flat out not work. Yeah, because um, this, this, one, this one was a two purple and a red. Was it this pre-con? Oh, the pre-cons, yeah, because yeah. is that what these all this are? This is the Gondor. Yeah, yeah, these ones in the front. These four are the pre-cons. Yeah. So, I mean, I two, two Sphere is the best for me, I think, because then you have two only yeah. two kinds of cards in your deal, and a lot of times when I do that, I'll put try to get this guy and put it on yes. the one that I have a single. Yeah. That way you're getting the extra resource for the single. So sure. you have two things making resources for purple. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like there's 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 ways to hit it. And there's a lot of cards that give you extra resources. Like oh, yeah, you I'm have sure. to get the pool play and stuff. It, it's 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 something. I yeah. mean, th th this game I like because I like to toy around with deck building mm -hmm. and stuff. Um but then, if you do, if you are lazy and don't want to build, oh, oh, I see. Well, I'm, no, I'm lazy gonna, now because <laughs> they have that. Uh, I can't. I don't know what the site is. It's like Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's it's a it's a deck building site where you can, people put their decks on there, mm. and it, they're like so you can just go and find a deck. on They there. do that with Marvel Champions. They, There's yeah, actually all, an app the, for it too. All these like, LCGs. Yeah, part of like something DB like, like Lord of the Rings DB or something. yeah. There's like a theme where it's like. Um, yeah, Google just deck, it, stuff like that. Yeah, so so you can just build it from that, mm -hmm. and which and I think is fun. One because yeah, I guess I I mean to be to be fair, I I am lazy. I don't want to sit. It's like I just want to mm -hmm. play the game. Right. Hence why I've never ever deck constructed with Marvel Champions. Right. It's like the pre cons. I'm like okay, yeah, grab that. It's gonna work. Uh, but I don't know. I think the resource management, like the card draw, is super slow unless you meta and you put it in. Which I mean, card games have that magic. The gathering. It's like. You better have a fucking soul ring in your deck, you know, like token cards that just go in a deck. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I don't know, because the deck construction in Arkham Horror is gradual. You still have to do it. You still have to take cards out. So you are trying to synergize and hope it works in the scenario, and maybe it does. Uh, but then also the resource management I really like in Marvel Champions, because Arkham is the same kind of situation, except yeah. it's just a pool yeah. that you have. And I think you have action selection, so you can actively choose to draw cards. I just like the Marvel Champions that, that way because... It, it adds that extra layer of decision because you're having to mm -hmm. get rid of cards you may want to pay for ones right. that you're putting in it. It's like, man, do I spend four cards to bring out this ally? Right. Is that all I'm doing this turn? Yeah, but maybe you also get through your deck. Yes. So you get to see most of the cards in your deck. Exactly. At least yeah. once in a game. Um, That's true. And sometimes you don't want to because, I mean, you're penalized for mm -hmm. reshuffling your deck. So, yeah. I mean... it's It's definitely... They're all different, which is good, because if you really like... I mean, I could see someone owning all three of those games. I mean, that's a lot of I do. money. <laughs> that's true. Uh, but you don't even play Marvel Champions. Like, how far behind are you on that? Um, quite a ways. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're both super far behind yeah. on the uh, campaign boxes. But, because I, I did the same thing. I owned everything for this, and then I was like... As I was organizing it, I'm like, I am never playing this. It's just not happening. I mean... I, we're, I'm super fucking far behind in Arkham Horror, too. Oh, God. I, I'm way behind in that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're... I'm on Carcosa. Yeah. <laughs> There's a shit ton after that. I Path to Carcosa. Here. I think I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm only one ahead of you, I think. I know, but just think of all the fucking... All the ones that are out. We just got another goddamn... Yeah, we did. Box. I'm really excited. That one looks super cool. Yeah. But I have no. I've 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 played Marvel, all the heroes in Marvel except for Deadpool and X twenty three right now. Okay, so and I'm the not, character boxes. Well, I've played the characters out of those boxes. Oh, you pulled them out. Oh, so you play them? I just want to see how they play. Yeah. So I haven't used them in the. So you're missing it. You're missing out on Deadpool and X twenty three because they're I'll, fucking great. I'll, I'll get to them. Um. So if you were comparing all three, mm -hmm. if you were to tell like, so they all have campaigns. Yep. Um, how would you rank? those three in terms of like campaign play campaign play yeah well if i'm and not by how i like the game or the i mean that kind of goes into the campaign well how if much? i was going strictly campaign for the story it'd go arkham arkham marvel this okay if i'm going on the how i like which i like the game it would go marvel arkham this so flip arkham okay. i think arkham is more thematic and uh it's, yeah and it's stuff that's why i would think the i yeah if i was combining them like in terms of how much i like the game as well as how much i like it integrated in a campaign i i agree i think it still goes arkham marvel and this because i still really like the gameplay of arkham but overall i would go marvel arkham this okay like overall gotcha yeah if we were comparing all three yeah i agree yeah um well i don't because i like arkham more, so more. Close. i mean you're picking stuff. they really are i mean it's Arkham and Marvel are really close in my yeah. top 100. I guess yeah, I would so. say, so the barrier to entry, um, I think actually this has an easier barrier to entry in, in terms of getting content because there's not as much out. <clears throat> um, yeah, but I think I think just to, for somebody new that wanted to get the game and get going, I think Marvel's easier. Because you just buy a hero deck and play it. I mean, you don't have to. Oh, well, you need to get the core set, right? But I mean, that's it. You don't have yeah. to like do any deck building. Yeah, I think core <laughs> core sets. Uh, <clears throat> I think yeah, Marvel beats it out. There's not enough in the core set of Arkham Horror, right. um, and this does have a lot, uh, kind of core set from from the get go. Yes. So I think Arkham Horror actually fails in its core set alone, but overall has a shit ton of mm -hmm. content. Especially now with the revised boxes, you're not chasing down five packs yeah. um, that go out of print uh, yeah. like exactly. the middle one does. Right. But yeah, the resources, I mean, this feels very mechanical and I know a lot of people think that about Marvel Champions. I get into the theme of Marvel Champions and the synergy of the cards. Arkham Horror, I really get into the theme. This one, it was kind of like, I never felt that I was Sam, Pippin, and Mary. I felt like I was Hobbits Right. And it's like, hey, I'm actually going to pull a Black Rider to me because now I get all this and Mary's a badass all of a sudden. Um, so the deck worked as intended. That was nice because sometimes it's like, here's a precon, and you're like, this sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it didn't suck. It was actually very useful. Um, did the precons, did it tell you what to use for the second one as well? No. It was, it was it just, just like, just hey, use this. these for all of them? It said if you want to get into the game quick, use these. Okay. 
So, like I said, it may I don't know what they would do. Yeah. For the next stuff, I don't know if stealth is handy for the next one. Mm -hmm. You know, like so. I don't know. Yeah, the threat. I, I like the threat mm -hmm. in this. I think this is a really cool system because I mean, those other games are just draw an encounter card. Oh, enemy right in my right. way. This is like, oh, enemy. Oh, 35. I'm at 22. Doesn't even see me. I yeah. think that's pretty cool. Yeah, it makes sense, too. Mm -hmm. Especially with that deck, your tiny little guy is hiding. Right. If, if, you know? I think overall, like, this specific scenario did feel like, you know, heading to Buckleberry Ferry. Like, right. yeah, there's locations and stuff that you can go travel to that you never hear about. Um but they give you benefits. I kind of like the travel phase. This fucking action window thing is... It's crazy. It is wild. And then it even goes to the next page. It does. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have one printed off at home. I, I forgot to bring it. It was like, it has it more on just on one page. So yeah. So kind of just have it sitting there. It's very helpful. Like, it's... But man, if you're talking to someone and, and it's like, okay, let's play this game. And they're not familiar with all the other games. And it's like, okay, so... Yeah. <laughs> To do to play that card right now, we're in the quest phase, and so we it starts. Now there's an action window, so we can play cards. Okay, now we commit characters. Then there's another action window. But you learn that stuff quick, because I know because Netrunner had a lot of windows like that. Yeah, and, and it's just you know when it almost happens. feels like it's a little too much. Because there was one part where I wanted to play an event, and you're like, well, technically, uh, you're we're not playing events now. You have to do it next time. I'm like, but it doesn't fucking matter because I'm gonna play it in two windows no, I, right I, now. I, it's it's this. It, it shows its age on some stuff. I mean, it's it's, it's yeah. an early LCG. It was it's their longest running. I was hoping with LCG. the revised though. Yeah, they would have streamlined yeah. it. It's their it's their longest running LCG. Yeah. Um, that FFG has done. It's outdone. Because uh, I mean, it's this isn't technically. It's not like a second edition. They're it's just, revised. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, and they're and they're just repackaging their old stuff. Like like I didn't even need to buy this. I could have just bought the Black Riders and the Oh, okay. And whatever it uh, boxes and yeah. it, and it's what is in this. Fantasy Flight ran out of ideas for games to make, so they're just like, "Let's bring back the other stuff. Let's condense the, the stuff we make and keep making money off of it." So yeah, so this is by far their oldest. Yeah, I oldest I really one. wish a revised edition could have streamlined it, maybe uh, mo modernized it to kind of like make it like their other one. The only thing it mod changed, modernized in my mind was it just made more of a, a campaign element. Mm -hmm. So like the core box, when you had the original core box, it was just, it had you know, five or six scenarios you yeah. played, but they weren't connected. Right. Like this one, you actually track it and connect it. Like we would have done something with the victory points right. on the deal and would have done different stuff with it mm -hmm. and, and everything. But but I agree. Off. I think I think this one feels. I think it, it'd be a lot more fun just doing solo, a lot less mm -hmm. just kind of like just extra stuff. Yep. That's just like okay, I don't really need you there. Uh, whereas the other two, I like. I, I played Marvel Champions at three, had a had a blast. Arkham Horror, I've only ever played at two, um, and that's a blast. So, um, I don't really have anything else yep. on yeah. it. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, what are you giving Lord of the Rings the card game? Um, I'm going to give it an 8. Oh, wow, I, okay. I, mean, I, I really like it, yeah. I mean, especially solo. Um, and when I compare it, because I think Arkham and... I mean, I think Arkham and Marvel, I have at least 9, maybe even higher. Okay. So, I mean, that's just the one sure. step under, you know. Um, because I like the puzzle of it. I love deck building, mm -hmm. and this one has the most deck building of any of them. Yeah. As far as customization, so that's why I yeah it gives me that extra push. Sure. Um, I think I'll give it a seven. I think it's a good game. Like I, I had a good time uh, playing it again. Um, and I'm actually slightly relieved because it wasn't like this. You didn't show this to me, and it wasn't like I showed you Arkham, and you're like, oh my god, I have to go yeah, out and get yeah. it all. Like I'm not like I'm like. Okay, and if you were like, "Hey, let's play a scenario. I got the decks made up," I'd be like, "Cool, let's jump into right. it." Um, but I, I wouldn't. I'm not gonna rush out and pick all this up again. Right. Um, but yeah, six feels a little too low. I, I think the gameplay still works. It's just slow. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still good. Uh, yeah. So that's good. that's our thoughts on Lord of the Rings, the card game. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. 
If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.